John, my final question is kind of comes back to the first question I asked you regarding asking feedback after an interview. We talked about that they get rejection, but sometimes it becomes automatic. The company say, thank you for applying. We're moving with another candidate, blah, blah, blah. So is it important for a job seeker to ask for feedback so that they can learn from this experience? I mean, I think it's important, but uh, you know, the companies tend to not give feedback if mm-hmm. it was a negative experience. Now, it also depends on the recruiter and the company uh, policies and what have you. Sometimes the recruiters are really fighting for you, right? They're really saying like, hey, you know, for this answer, um, they didn't really see this. And so they want to move you through, but um, if you can, you know, you know, tweak it a little bit more, provide a little bit more color in this data analysis area or what have you. So sometimes they'll give you those tips, but from a straight up rejection standpoint, if you ask like, what is the feedback? They usually say no, right? And so um, you almost have to kind of be self-reflective on it and say like, where could it have gone wrong? Um, so it's, it's, it's a tough one. Yeah. But again, you're always learning from yourself. As you mentioned, like the more you do interviews, the more you learn better, the more you speak, the more better you tell your stories, right? That's right. Just practice. Practice. And again, thank you very much, John. I really enjoyed this conversation. I hope the audience will enjoy it too. And again, if you have any other tips, please leave comments below. Reach to us, to our social platforms. We are here to help you. And John, hopefully we can meet one day and have a coffee and talk more. I love it, man. Thanks, everyone. Take care.